whole life I always knew I was special Even with no remainders I could always move a decimal Money on my mind while the girls that made un beso Hustlers in my blood and it's running through my vessels Just trying to clear the threshold Just trying to make a way In my race against time I could see an early grave School to prison pipeline 12 years a slave Suspension and detention is conditioned for a cage the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Amir Khan activates his rematch clause against Kell Brook. I'm not joking. I know you're thinking, hey, yo, you made this up. This is a joke. No. And just to prove it's not a joke, you're going to hear it from, well, not the horse's mouth, but a reliable horse's mouth. Let's take a, a listen to what Eddie Hearn had to say about that. All right. And this video appears courtesy of IFL TV. Um, Kelbrook has Kelbrook priced himself out with the Cotter Benfire? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to tell you what he asked for, but it was, it was slightly OTT. But look, I think with Kel, it's like I've heard actually that Amir Khan is going to uh, invoke the rematch clause, bizarrely. And people have already been contacting us saying, Would you like to pay us step aside to not invoke the rematch clause? So, no, you're right, thanks. You go and do Khan Brook 2, and uh, we'll, we'll crack on with. I, I said to Kelbrook the other uh, to Connor Ben the other day, You, my friend or a young superstar. Don't worry about basing your career around someone else. Don't worry about waiting for, you know, trying to land this payday. Everything's going to come for you. Um, so we crack on with our career. His next fight will be announced for April 16th. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll be ready for a huge show for Conor Ben. We'll carry on talking to, to Kel Brook. It's not like, I'm not trying to, oh, you're ridiculous. So we're moving on. We'd love to make the fight. But what we said to Kel Brook and his training team was, if you want to fight in June, July, we won't fight in April. Because I think if Kel Brook stays out of the ring for a long time, he won't fight again. So that was the what we were trying to do. But it's no big deal. We'll carry on talking. And hopefully we can get it made. But for Conor Ben, his next fight will be announced next week. With Kel All right. So you heard it from Eddie Hearn. People have already been contacting him saying, would you like to pay a step aside so that Kel Brook can fight Conor Ben? And it looks like Amir Khan plans on activating the rematch clause. Gee, you had a lot to say about Amir Khan. What do you have to say right now? Man, listen, man. This is, I can't believe Chicken Noodle Soup wants to go back in there and get violated again. You know what I mean? And it's funny, if you actually think about what Eddie just said, they called them was like, would you like to give a step aside to go uh and and, and do the match with Connor Ben? Like step aside, like yeah, like yeah, you're fast food side. Like <laughs> you got stepping nothing aside. You know what I mean? So I just feel like a man Khan is this is a payday for Mir Khan. And I'm not mad at him, but I'm like, bro, focus on your health, man. You done did enough. Like that match was bad. Like Kel looked like he had no fear in you. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing else that you could provide. It's just you got a you got a hummus chin. Like your jaw is just mush. There's nothing you could do about that, bro. It's all right, man. Like you're way past your prime. Enough is enough, man. Like you should tell your team, like, you know what? I understand. Like I had so many people in the UK rooting for me. But the way I lost, I just know. There's no way I could I could turn that around. Like unless he's taking some type of like steroid or something, which I doubt he would. Might get on that snack. Nah, just, I think he he ain't he team snack. He went in there team snack and got and became <laughs> he became a team snack. snack and became a snack. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm you man, his legs was wobbly. He was running, bro. I'm telling you, he was chicken noodle soup. If they have another Put fight. Soda on the side. Be, I'm telling you, it's going to chicken noodle soup and soda on the <laughs> side. That's going to be the rematch. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, man, come, please, man. Like, just don't do this, man. Kel Brook, Kel Brook spanked you. Like, Special K violated you. Why would you want to go back in there again to do the same thing? Embarrass your fans, your family, your children. Like, Bruh, like it's okay, man. You lost. Like sometimes you just gotta admit that. You just gotta look in the mirror and it's like, yo, Kel Brook is just a better man. Like it just is what it is, bro. Like yo, Kel Brook, don't take this fight, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't want Kel Brook to take the Conor Ben fight because I kind of feel like it's dangerous for Kel Brook for Conor Ben. 
know what I'm saying? But I'd rather see you fight Conor Ben than to fight Amir Khan again because I just feel like Amir Khan's going to really get hurt the second go around. And, you know, the first go around, it was fun. Second time, man, it ain't fun, man. It's like, now it's like, it's abuse. It's like domestic violence. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm telling you, it's like a father spanking his child. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't cute. Nobody want to see that. So, Amir Khan, man, do yourself a solid. You had a good run. Tell your team, like, you know what? Nah, I'm, I'm not interested in the rematch. You know what? I was thinking about the money, but the money isn't worth, you know, my sanity, you know, my, my family, my well-being, and things of that nature. All right, Ned the TVE. Hey, man. Only way I met Khan's doing this is this man probably broke, and he need the money. That's it. Like, I don't even see why he would take this rematch. We saw Calbrook violate this man, and I don't know why would you want part two of that. So, Amir Khan, if anything, yo, I, yeah, if your pockets is low, yo, we can start a GoFundMe for, for you, yo. We can get you so get you that, that bread you need. But come on, this ain't it, yo. You don't need to go to the abuse to um, get, get your finances settled, yo. Your debt settled, yo. Come on now, all right? Like, get together, man. All right, Ned uh, gives his opinion. Here's what here's what I would say. Conspiracy cadence here. I see you, Amir Khan, and I know what you did. You threw the first fight. You threw the first fight. I see what you did, Amir Khan. So you want to make the whole public go against you and think, oh, Amir Khan don't stand no chance. He got violated. So you could activate your rematch clause, right, and now Kell Brooks overconfident, and then in the rematch, you're going to spark him out, which is going to lead to a trilogy. And what's that lead to? More money, more money, more money. Yo, you a smart dude. Let's think about it. Y'all want to sit there and talk about, oh, Amir Khan got violated. There were a number of things that were going against Amir Khan. He never had a proper trainer. Look it. Amir Khan had uh, Freddie Roach. He left Freddie Roach. He went with... Uh, Virgil. Then he left Virgil. Then he went with uh, Bo Mack and TC. Okay, so he didn't have a proper trainer, but that's fine. We're gonna leave it alone. He never had a proper trainer to go against him. Amir Khan. Okay, Amir Khan always came into the fights. He always came ready to fight. Okay, now one thing we know from Amir Khan, he always was difficult in the early rounds. Gave Canelo a tough fight in the early rounds was beating Danny Garcia in the early rounds. This fight, he started getting beat up from the early rounds. It's not like Amir Khan. He even gave TC a tough fight in the early rounds. So Amir Khan just went out there and started getting dominated from the early rounds. Come on now, this was un-Amir Khan-like. So I believe that Amir Khan threw the first fight so that he can get the UK public hype and people are going to doubt him in the rematch. He's going to spark out uh, Kell Brook in the rematch, and then they're going to have a trilogy fight, make more money, and Amir Khan's going to show the boxing world what he's really made of, and everyone's going to regret the day that they ever, ever, ever doubted Amir Khan as being the best and better than Kell Brook. Now that... That's Amir Khan's fantasy, by the way. I don't really believe it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't really believe no trilogy. That trilogy's <laughs> going to be Amir Khan's public funeral. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. I'm just saying, I don't know what he's thinking. And even when I tried to, like, say it in, in the light most favorable to Amir Khan, it sounds like the greatest fairy tale in the world. Man. I can't even believe it. So, Amir Khan, what are you trying to believe? What are you trying to do? Here's what I hope. I hope it's a ploy to try to get some step aside money. And if you don't get the step aside money, please don't go through with that rematch. Please, Amir Khan, you've you've had enough. You've had enough. It, and 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 you know the British boxing board shouldn't even sanction that fight. Thank you. Because you got dominated so badly, it was not competitive. It's not a fight that anyone needs to see again. You know what it looked like? It looked like, Amir Khan, you were on a fighter on your last leg and Kell Brook still had a little left in the tank. So if Kell wants to go against Conor Ben, cool. I'm okay with that. I still favor Conor Ben in that fight. But Kell Brook, I mean, but uh, Amir Khan, you shouldn't be able to fight anybody 
When I say anybody, I mean anybody. You shouldn't be able to fight a four rounder in a pro debut. Like that's for real. Like I, I his jaw might fall off. Yo, <laughs> where's that for Amir Khan? And like Khan, like I think, you know, yes, he has the athleticism. Yes, he was once a great fighter and even a world champion. But his punch resistance is non-existent. Okay, so Amir Khan, it's a Rizzy, it's a wrap. Hang him up. You know, even when I try to say the scenario in the best light possible for you, it just sounds like the world's greatest fairy tale, bro. I can't even convince myself of it. So, Mia, do yourself a favor. Bluff. Bluff and try to get the step aside. But if the bluff doesn't work, really retire. Because if you don't retire, boxing will retire you. All right. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And if you can't catch us on YouTube, man, our podcast is fire. Listen, I'm telling you, man, the podcast just keeps growing and growing and growing. So you can check us out on our podcast. Uh, Thank you for watching. It's the Boxing Bros.